If you've been uh, <coughs> watching Trinity Broadcasting, TVN, Church Channel, Smile of a Child or Youth Channel lately, you might have noticed that needing to make some changes to the set-top box uh, by the 1st of September. If you've lost your channels, that's the reason. And they're moving to higher definition MPEG-4 uh, receivers. And this is all about how to retune a set-top box for that receiver. Now we, we, we're working on a uh, SatKing DVBS 250S2A. There it is in the box. And uh, you can get these from Access Antennas in the, on the web. I'll put their web page on this video. And I think they're doing a special deal for this transition of $120 pre-tuned and in the post to you. So first of all, you've got to get your, uh, your remote uh, button on your remote control on this instrument and press the menu button which is right here on the just on above that little yellow button there press that and this is what comes up and uh, along the top of the screen you can see different um, size of the menu we can go across to the picture channel search uh, change the time other program things etc setting passwords etc so we're going to go back and we're going to look at uh, this setup in channel search and then you press OK here and the password is four zeros press the zero button on your remote and four times and one one two three three four and it lets you in now we want to go down to scroll down using the button around the OK um, go down to TP Manager, press OK on that, and we're going to go in here. We probably, uh, you'll always need to stay with a satellite Optus D2, because that's where the Christian channels are coming from, so don't, don't change that. You can accidentally change it by pressing the wrong button like this, and it, oops, we're going to a different channel, just go back until you get it Optus D2. You will always need to have quality, this is the quality line on the screen, before you scan it, which is the blue button on your remote. So you need to add a transponder. So it says on the bottom there to press the red button. That's the red button in the middle of the remote. Press the red button, aim it at the box, and it'll tell you to put in a, add a transponder. We're going to add, uh, using the numbers on your remote, punch in one, two, five, eight, one. Um, symbol, then scroll down to symbol, 22,500. Two, two, five, zero, zero. And then scroll down again, and you'll get change of polarity using the side buttons next to OK. Tune it to H for horizontal. And when you've added that, you can see the quality comes up from the satellite. So now we want to uh, confirm that. Uh, press OK to confirm it. And it, it says it's existed. That's because I put it in yesterday. But in your case, if you've got a new box straight from the supplier, it may not have that in it. So you've got to put that transponder in. So exit out of there, exit out of there and when you look up at the transponder manager number two is 12581 that's the one we just tried to put in. Okay now we're going to scan that, we'll go highlight that and we're going to scan it with the blue button on your remote press the blue button scan mode, it's scan the transponder that's what we want Scrolling down, program, not all channels, you only want the free-to-air channel, ones you don't have to pay for. <coughs> and you press it down again, scroll down to scan, and you press the button, and it's going to scan that particular transponder. There we are, we've got all the new channels we need, you can see 
TBMs there, church channels there, that's what we want. Smile of a child is there, and uh, already it's on the screen. The new channel is there. Now, what I've done yesterday, I did a, I fixed this yesterday, so what I've kept is the old one, that's JCTV, Smile of a Child, that's the old church channel with the star next to it, and there's the old TBN. And if you could go back to that old church channel, you see the red warning still exists there. Well, they're, just, they're going to drop off the screen on September the 1st, and number one will be the new replacement channel, and there it is, <coughs> number one, TBN Pacific, covering New Zealand, Australia, and all the islands in between. So that's... Uh, how you do it if you're uh, wanting to retune your setup box if you've got a sat king um, whatever the number was dvb um, s250 s2a digital satellite receiver all the best enjoy your christian tv watching if you wish to purchase a MPEG-4, a compliant um, set-top box, contact Access Antennas above the phone number and ask for the special. For $120, they'll pre-tune it and send it out to you in the post. The other alternative is, of course, to contact TBN on the telephone numbers they provide and purchase a new set-top box through them.